क्लास एट सब्जेक्ट जनरल साइंस चैप्टर नाइनटीन लाइफ साइकिल ऑफ स्टार्स एक्सरसाइज क्वेश्चन वन सर्च एंड यू विल फाइंड ए अवर गैलेक्सी इज कॉल्ड द मिल्की वे एंड मंदाकिनी बी फॉर मेजरिंग लार्ज डिस्टेंसेस द लाइट ईयर इज यूज एज अ यूनिट सी द स्पीड ऑफ लाइट इज थ्री लैक किलोमीटर पर सेकंड D. There are about hundred billion stars in our galaxy. E. The end stage of the sun will be a white dwarf. F. Stars are born out of interstellar clouds. G. Milky Way is a spiral galaxy. H. Stars are spheres of hot gas i the mass of other stars are measured relative to the mass of the sun j light takes about 8 minutes to reach us from the sun while it takes about 1 second to reach us from the moon k the larger the mass of a star the faster is its evolution l the number of fuels used in the life of a star depends on its mass question 2 who is telling lies a light year is used to measure time answer telling lies b end stage of stars depends on its initial mass answer telling truth c a star ends its life as a neutron star when the pressure of its electron balances its gravity answer telling lies d only light can emit from the black hole answer telling lies e the sun will pass through the super giant stage during its evolution answer telling lies f the sun will end its life as a white dwarf answer telling truth question 3 answer the following questions a how do stars form answer there are huge clouds of gas and dust in the empty space between the stars in the galaxy these clouds are called interstellar clouds the size of an interstellar cloud is about a few light years when an interstellar cloud starts contracting due to some disturbance its density and temperature increase This results in formation of a dense sphere of hot gas and nuclear energy generation stars at the center of the stars therefore the gas spheres becomes self luminous thus a star is formed that is a star is born b why do stars evolve answer Although star appears stable for quite a long period of time their properties do change though very slowly a change in the properties of a star leading to its passing through different stages is called evolution of the star burning of the fuel at the center of the star and gradual decrease in its amount of the main reason of the evolution of a star c what are 
द थ्री एंड स्टेजेस ऑफ स्टार आंसर वन स्टार्स हैविंग इनिशियल मास लेस दैन एट टाइम्स द मास ऑफ द सन अल्टीमेटली बिकम वाइट ड्वार टू स्टार्स हैविंग इनिशियल मास बिटवीन एट एंड ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स द मास ऑफ द सन अल्टीमेटली बिकम न्यूट्रॉन स्टार्स थ्री स्टार्स हैविंग इनिशियल मास लार्जर दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स द मास ऑफ द सन अल्टीमेटली टर्न इन टू ब्लैक होल्स डी वाई वॉज द नेम ब्लैक होल गिवेन एंसर वेन अ स्टार हैविंग इनिशियल मास लार्जर दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव टाइम्स द मास ऑफ द सन रीचेस इट्स एंड स्टेज इट्स ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्स एंड डेंसिटी इंक्रीज एक्सपोनेंशियली ऑल नियर बाय ऑब्जेक्ट्स गेट अट्रैक्टेड टूवर्ड द स्टार एंड नथिंग कैन कम आउट ऑफ इट नॉट इवन लाइट ऑल इंसिडेंट लाइट इज एब्जॉर्ब बाय द स्टार वी कैन प्रोबेबली सी अ वेरी मिनिट ब्लैक होल एट इट्स प्लेस हेंस द नेम इज गिवेन एज ब्लैक होल ए which type of stars and their life as a neutron star answer stars having initial mass between 8 and 25 times the mass of the sun end up as neutron stars when these stars pass through the super giant stage their size increases to 1000 times huge explosion that occurs in the last stage of these stars is very powerful and very high energy is given off after the huge explosion called the supernova explosion their central portion contracts in size to about 10 km in this stage such stars are completely made up of neutrons and hence are called neutron stars question 4 a if you are the sun write about your properties in your own words answer there are billions of stars in the galaxy called the milky way and mandakini i am one of the small star called the sun i have my own family called the solar system there are planets satellites asteroids comets and meteors in my family my mass is 2 into 10 raised to 30 kilograms which is about 3.3 lakh times that of the earth with a radius of 6 lakh 95700 km my size is about 100 times that of the earth my surface temperature is about 5800 kelvin while it is 1.5 into 10 raised to 7 at the center 72% of my mass consist of hydrogen while 26% consist of helium rest 2% is made up of elements heavier than helium i am about 4.5 billion years old and the scientist on the earth have concluded that not much change has taken place in my properties during this period according to the scientist in the end stage of my life i will turn into a red giant star thereafter i will first explode and then contract to become as well as the earth i will appear small as well as white and hence i will be called the white dwarf this will be my last stage forever b describe white dwarfs answer depending on the initial mass stars can reach one of the three end stages white dwarf is one such stage of stars having initial mass less than 8 times the mass of the sun these stars undergo huge expansion and their radius increases by a factor of 
hundred to two hundred. These stars appear reddish because of their large size and lower temperature. Hence, these stars are also called red giant stars. At the end of their evolution, these stars explode their outer gas envelope in thrown outward and the inner part contract to size of the earth. However, the density in the star becomes very high. In this stage, the pressure due to electrons become independent of temperature and sufficient to balance the gravitational force forever. In this stage, such stars look white and due to their small size, they are called white dwarfs.